President Mohamed Buhari has called on all members of the All Progressive Congress APC to be united and also support the newly sworn in leadership of the party. The president said these are the Eagle Square Habuja venue of the National Convention of the Party, where Senator Abdullahi Adamu emerged as the party national chairman through a consensus arrangement. Our reporter completes this story. While urging members of the party to be strong and united, President Mahmoud Buhari said the convention came at a crucial time when the party was preparing for another round of general election. Also, the vice president, Yemi Oshibaju, lauded the founding members of the party for forming a political party that dislodged the People's Democratic Party, PDP, after 16 years in power. This convention is coming at a crucial time when we prepare for another round of general election. Therefore, the need to remain strong and be united for the party to exploit the rich abundant potentials at its disposal can not be overemphasized. We appreciate the right to hold different opinions and aspirations. However, such differences must not be to the detriment of the party. Over 4 million beneficiaries of our government environment and enterprise program, the market money, trader money, farmer money, our private sector has, despite constraints, continued to do wonders. Only a few days ago, Mr. President commissioned one of the, lar the largest fertilizer plants in Africa and one of the largest in the world. And in a few months, the largest single line refinery in the world will become operational. Senate President Ahmed Lawal and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Miller, lauded the President for his role in ensuring executive legislature harmony. They also hailed the President's commitment to the implementation and completion of projects across the six geopolitical zones and particularly the Second Niger Bridge in the Southeast. We construct the Second Niger Bridge. They broke the ground and they ran away. The Java broke the ground for the second time and ran away. They never did anything. That time, they were pushed out of office. We promised you only once. And we have almost achieved it. By the grace of God, before the end of this year, Mr. President will go and commission the second major bridge. You should know where you are bread is battered and where you are tea will have the milk and the sugar. All things being equal, we intend to revisit the issue of women inclusion in our constitutional students. We must do this because ours is a party of inclusion. This is the promise of the progressive movement, and we have kept the faith. As we have gathered here today from across the regions of our country, representing every religion, tribe, and gender, I urge you, fellow progressives, to adopt this motto of building a grand task and act accordingly. The national chairman, APC Kiatika Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, May Malab Buni, highlighted the achievements of the Kiatika Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee. Let me assure those you whose defections have been challenged in the courts that you have nothing to fear. Your defections did not contravene any law. You will, by the grace of God, be much successful and victorious in the superior courts at the end of these litigations. Your wise decision to join APC along with millions of your supporters shall never be in vain. Senator Abdullahi Adamu emerged as the national chairman of the party after he was endorsed by consensus by delegates at the convention along with other new National Executive Council members and this is coming about a year and nine months after the Adams Oshamala led National Working Committee NWC was sacked. Senator Adam went into the election as a consensus candidate following the withdrawal of other aspirants from the contest. On behalf of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, we wish to explain our sincere gratitude to the Honorable Chairman of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mr. President, for guiding our constitution very well of being given by a consensus. So we have allowed one of our members to be a contestant for the office 
or the national chairman of the Patriot Party. There is no other person than the single senator and we are at the moment. Also elected through consensus are Ima Enuku from Enugu State as the Deputy National Chairman South, Abubakar Kerry, Deputy National Chairman North, and Atumba Iola Omishori, National Secretary, among others. All the consensus candidates were confirmed through voice votes at the convention. On the news now, Biodu Shomi, a political analyst, says the APC National Convention is a prompter to how the party presidential candidate will emerge. What we've seen clearly is um, the direction in which APC chose to pick its own election officials. They are quite aware of many problems the party has faced and is still facing. And realize that there's no way with all the factions in different states they will go into an election, you know, to elect the party um, operatives um, without um, having some form of consensus candidates. If they have chosen a direct election or indirect election, that will have created more problems for the party. So I must commend the president. Um, he's been able to um, steer the party clearly in this direction. Since the, Constitution, the, the, the Electoral Act provides for consensus and candidates. So, therefore, they have done very well to manage their internal crisis. And that is one part of it. The other part is um, the, if you look at the way all the candidates emerge from that they are from, clearly shows that um, there are some states that are probably excluded or some zones, you know, even in the South, from bidding for the presidency. You cannot hold certain posts and say, uh, for instance, chairman of the party, and say you want to come from the north again, the presidential candidate. That's not going to happen. Um, I see Southwest better, you know, um, uh, placed, you know, to provide the next presidential candidate, given uh, the distribution of the post, which they did through consensus. So that may as well uh, be uh, what the president or the ruling party cabals, you know, prefer uh, that, look, we rather skill this to ensure that it's only um, more likely the candidates from Southwest will emerge as presidential candidates. That is what has played out. It has reflected clearly in uh, the representation in terms of those who were elected through consensual arrangement. It is clear that um, more likely than not, uh, Southwest is better placed, you know, to provide the next um, presidential candidate. Your guess is as good as mine right on who probably would emerge. Uh, but the fact is, they have used the convention to resolve, even though it's on party officials, they have also used it uh, as an indicator, as a pointer to where the presidential candidate is likely going to emerge. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.